Well, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, this is a, a momentous event for uh, Bristol Community College and for the city of New Bedford. Um, we're here to announce a, a pioneering program uh, with a partnership with uh, HEP, Higher Education Partners, uh, to launch a new a, a workforce development program that will enable practitioners, those working already in the fields of early childhood education and in human services to attain greater credentials, to enhance their credentials and their skills and competencies uh, by taking credit uh, courses. In the early childhood program, uh, certificates will be made available to them um, after they complete the uh, program. Uh, also in the human services program, uh, certificate and degree program uh, might be available to these practitioners. Uh, the g genesis of the problem uh, that we're addressing is that uh, we have uh, people, practitioners, working in those fields, uh, usually at entry level without a great deal of educational uh, credential uh, behind them, and uh, no hope of, uh, or very little hope, of enhancing those credentials because they work all day in those fields. Uh, so uh, we have come together with HEP, the Higher Education Partners, to work out an arrangement, thanks to the good graces and the uh, uh, financial support of HEP, to provide opportunities for these practitioners to come together uh, and uh, earn these certificates and uh, possibly even degrees. This could not have happened without the uh, uh, full support and uh, expert support, I might add, of our academic affairs uh, officers at the college. Uh, and the faculty deeply involved with this, uh, with the formation of this project. I might say that the courses uh, will have to, we'll have to arrange the scheduling of these courses, but they uh, probably will be at night or online or in the weekends, so that the practitioners who work uh, all day will be able to uh, access them and make themselves uh, make those opportunities available. So uh, it is a great pleasure. Uh, uh, for Bristol Community College to be in this partnership. Uh, we are already partners with HEP in a couple of other uh, very important items for uh, the region, not just for New Bedford. And that is our uh, signature program of eHealth, uh, where we, in this uh, very building on 800 Purchase Street, we provide degree programs in various health fields. Uh, nursing has just joined us this fall semester of 2012. Uh, so that they can earn a degree in those fields, uh, mostly, not entirely, but mostly online. Another project that HEP has partnered with BCC about is the Middle College in New Bedford. And that is a wonderful program uh, with the help of the public school systems and Mayor Mitchell and the City Council. We have uh, formed to come together uh, to recover high school dropouts. Uh, in this day and age, you need these academic credentials, and uh, if you drop out of high school, it does make it uh, difficult to access opportunities for a better life. So uh, with HEP, we have not only eHealth, but we have the dropout recovery program, and now we're adding this uh, wonderful early childhood and human services program. And it's my honor to uh, introduce to you uh, our HEP partner and the great uh, work that we're doing together, uh, Jerry Cavanaugh. Jerry Cavanaugh. Jack? Jerry, thank you very much. How you are doing? Thanks. Thank you. Let me, um, uh, let me first of all thank Jack Sprager and BCC for allowing us to be their partners here today. Um, they have been a solid, unparalleled partner with us over the last three to four years, and we are thrilled to be expanding our partnership and relationship with them. This is a really important um, initiative for us because of three or four different reasons. First is, we understand in our projects that the old traditional student is no longer the traditional student anymore. College students today are a little bit older, they work, some of them work really hard, they have families, um, and we need to try to accommodate them because they only can work part-time. And they know that the only way that they can get to the middle class is by 
getting a degree at a place like Bristol Community College so that they can go up the ladder of their workplace so that they get higher wages, better benefits, um, and probably have a more stable family life. But the problem is, is that college is too expensive. I was looking at some figures last week. There is a trillion dollars of student loan debt in the country today, one trillion dollars. So as the recession has taken place, mortgage debt has gone down, consumer debt, credit cards has gone down or stabilized, auto loan debt has gone down, student loan debt continues to rise at 10 to 12% a year. It's risen 50% since the recession started. And there's no way that we can continue to to train the people we need to train, particularly the new traditional college student, without doing something to accommodate them and help them. So that's why we're really excited about this opportunity, because we, we get to take a little of our resources and reinvest them into the students, so that, number one, students can think about getting a degree. Secondly, they won't have problems paying back their debt because hopefully we've relieved them of some of that debt. And thirdly, once they get through, they'll be able to get a new job in their existing workplace and have a higher salary with uh, nicer benefits and a, and a uh, more fruitful career. So we are excited about being involved in this, and I can't thank Jack and Greg and Joan Minard enough for allowing us to be a party to it. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jerry, and we'd be glad to take any questions that uh, might arise. Okay, I thank you for coming, and uh, we're very, uh, very happy about this, and uh, we'll be available at any time for questions. Thank you.